Hi, I'm Nick Montoya. Javier Montoya. And we are the Montoya Yoga teaching team of the Aegis program. The Aegis program is all about bringing you products and programs and workshops and classes and retreats and a whole lot of other things to help people live healthier and happier lives. And what we're here to talk about today is our three-day fruit cleanse. Yeah, this is one that I'm really, really excited about. Whenever you go through a cleanse, it's such a purifying uh, thing for the body. And I love the nutritional aspect of the yoga and the Aegis program. And I got my hands in that quite a bit, so I'm excited to help facilitate that information. So, uh, so why should anyone want to do a fruit cleanse in the first place? Well, I think real quick, number one, it alkalizes the body. Our body operates on an um, alkalized pH balance. is better for you. So that's the first thing it's going to do, really, is to get you back to alkaline. And it cleans your internal system of food additives and chemicals that you don't need anyway. Right, that we don't even always realize that we're even intaking into the body. Another thing as far as cleansing is actually cleanses undigested food that's left in your body some waste so you're going to be getting rid of a lot of waste the more cleaner you are from the inside the more healthy you'll look from the outside your skin will be brighter your hair will be brighter your eyes will shine you'll just look better you know uh, we've done several of these fruit cleanses uh, uh, now over the last couple of years and one of the comments that keeps coming back is people are surprised about how really easy or simple it is right. to accomplish a three-day fruit cleanse. Right, well it can sound like an invasive process at first, but really it's all about learning how to do it. Once you learn how to do it, it's quite simple, it's not that demanding, and it's actually quite fun. It's a nice ritual. And we're gonna help make it fun for you. And the other thing is that I, uh, a lot of comments I get back is that how people's thoughts are a lot more clear, or they're a lot more focused. Uh, and more than anything, there's a sensation of well-being and happiness. So it's like, wow, if we can do that in the three-day fruit cleanse for you, that's goodness right then right. and it's, of itself. Exactly. So, um, you know, we can talk all of, about all these great benefits, but we have some really awesome testimonials from people in the past that have done some okay. of the, of the uh, cleanses with us. Okay. So Beverly says, um, I am so proud of doing this. We, I had a few, few cravings, but it was easier than I thought it would be. I feel lighter emotionally and physically. Nice, okay. What does Charlene say, man? Let's say, uh, on this third day, I feel proud to have taken part of this, and I'm thankful I had a team doing it with me. Found the biggest lesson I learned was to learn and listen and care more for my body. The question that kept coming for me was, why don't I take the time and effort to eat this healthy all the time? You know, that's one thing that I think that we offer through the Ageless program and our three-day fruit cleanse is that we have this Facebook group page where we get to support each other, we get to share our fruit recipes, we get to right. motivate and inspire and communicate right. on a daily or sometimes even hourly basis. Mm -hmm. And to know that you're part of a team and part of a group doing it together makes it a lot of fun. It does, it creates a community, everybody gets together, you get support, it's, it's the best, it really is. Uh, Lori says, um, I feel fantastic, my body feels lighter and more fit. My skin is smoother and feels so soft. What a great benefit I didn't even think about. Well, speaking about that, and this, that comes up time and time again, and that's one of the things that I didn't realize right. would come up for me was, you know, how good your skin feels after, right, after right. this. Like, who would have thought? Exactly, yeah. So cleansing the system from the inside, again, is gonna make you just flourish from the outside. Why don't you read Becky's? Okay, it was actually easier than I thought it would be. I was so much more aware with what others around me at work were eating. It was making me think, I don't want to put that in my body. I didn't have the cravings that I thought I would have and I felt satisfied. I feel lighter, energetic, and happy for the awareness of natural whole foods. So good for us. So that's a big thing here is how much lighter people will feel. It just is going to make you just walk and be so much easier. You know, you're not a lot of heavy weight along with you. It just makes you lighter. It's a big deal. I'm all for that. I, I always feel that way right. as well when I go through the through my cleanses. And Elisa says, I feel lighter, there you go, lighter again, cleaner and proud that I made this commitment and am completing it. I definitely will make this a regular part of my life, eating healthier and becoming the best me. The best me I can be is what this has taught me. Nice. Awesome. I think that's what it all comes down to. Right, being your best. Yeah, and being being aware of what it takes to, to being your best right. from a healthy right. perspective. So thank you, thank you very much for joining us for this Ageless Experience. 
So the next thing we're gonna do here is take you through a step-by-step -step process, buying the fruit, preparing your fridge, preparing basically your space so you can have a successful and invigorating fruit cleanse. By the way, these headbands that you see us wearing, they're yours. All you have to do is complete the fruit cleanse, send us a testimonial at the end, and guess what? We're gonna send you one of these. There's an awesome, what we call the Aegis Program, bandana. You'll love it. So stay tuned. We're on our way to the step-by-step -step process. Step one is to consult your doctor if you have any medical questions that concern you. A fruit cleanse is not recommended for people with diabetes or people that have blood sugar issues. So step two, clean out your fridge so you can make room for all that great fruit. So a major step in the preparation for the fruit cleanse is to make sure that you have the proper containers to keep your fruit in. Right when you cut them, you're gonna to wanna to put them right in the container and put them in the fridge to maintain freshness. If you're gonna take it to work, make sure that you have an ice chest or something small that'll keep your fruit cool. Step number four is to make a list of the items that you're gonna get at the store. So what is a fruit anyway? I've had to answer that question many times. And bottom line, a good rule of thumb, is a fruit is anything that has a seed or seeds in it. Javier, what's on our list to get this go around? Okay, so check it out. We're gonna get some watermelon, strawberries, banana, peaches, cantaloupe, cherries, nectarines, apples, Avocado, that is a fruit, it has a seed, tomatoes, and cucumbers. So another thing is absolutely no canned fruit, absolutely not. It's not fresh and it's processed. Same thing for the juice. I don't care if it says organic, whatever. If you don't get the juice freshly extracted from the fruit that you bought, it's a no-no if you want to make smoothies. Smoothies are available, but you have to make sure that you make them fresh on your own. How about dried fruit? Uh, dried fruit's a no-no as well. Same exact thing. It's processed, it's dried out. It's good for survival, but not for a fruit cleanse. Got it. Well, hey, one of the things we're gonna do is, is this go around, we're gonna make sure that all our fruit is organic. Right. It doesn't have to be that way all the time. Sometimes Costco offers very effective pricing and, and bulk uh, pricing. But for this go around, we're gonna do our shopping at Whole Foods because we know we can get that organically. Uh, the second thing is when you go buy your fruit, buy it two days in advance. That gives you a couple of days to let those fruits ripen that do need to be ripened. Step five is to go to the store. And this is the result of the fruits of our labor, part of the pun. In step six, it's time to wash, cut, and prepare the fruit done the day or the night before. And when you set up your space, bring out all your fruit. Use all your senses. Use your sense of smell, your sense of sight, your sense of touch. Just really absorb and enjoy the entire experience. Okay, so we're still here in step number six. Obviously, you saw how much fruit we got. I'm just going to use a few here just to give you an example. There's a couple ways that I like to wash fruit that is going to take away the pesticides and uh, take off the wax. Even though our fruit is organic, sometimes we put this wax on there so it, it kind of looks fancy, but, but you want to definitely be able to take that out. One that I like is right here by Trader Joe's Fruit and Vegetable Wash. It acts just sort of like a dish soap, which I'll be using right now. Another great alternative I love to do is go ahead and fill up your sink with some water, squeeze a lot of lemon in there, get some salt, apple cider vinegar, and go ahead and, and wash it a bit, give it a bit of a scrub, throw it in, rinse it, you can do that. But this is really quick for me, and all you really have to do, it's real simple. Turn on the water, throw a little bit of the soap on here. And then I can just feel it taking off that wax. And, and there you go, that's one step to washing. The cutting stage of step number six is important because it helps you prepare and it helps make it easy once that you are in the cleanse of just having that readily available. So I like to cut anything that requires preparation such as melons. And the way I like to cut my melons is I start from the outer rind and I work myself in trying to 
be as not as wasteful as possible. Send it all the way through. My objective here is to get as much of a solid piece of watermelon so that when I start to cut it, and usually what I will do the night before is I'm not gonna let any of this go to waste. I'm gonna probably munch on this after the filming of this because it's really good stuff. Okay, so now Nick has this set up quite nicely. Just some quick cutting tips. I had a friend who went to the Cordon Bleu and he saw me cutting one day with my hands, with my fingers outward and he said, oh my God, he stopped me and he, and he, and he showed me right away, it's knife safety. Whenever you're cutting, you wanna try to close your knuckles if you can to prevent your fingers from being exposed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a downward press and through. And in this case, what you wanna do is decide how big you want your chunks of the melon. What I like to do is I like to have the chunks smaller. The smaller we cut our chunks, it looks like we have more food and the less we'll eat, which in this case will preserve our fruit that we're gonna need for the week. And then it's time to enjoy the fruit that you have cut and prepared. So this is what I would typically choose to eat on day one of a fruit cleanse, possibly at dinner time. Be the cucumbers, the avocado, the tomatoes, the grapes, and the melon. One thing about the fruit cleanse is if you want more after you've served yourself a plate, go for it. There's really no limit on how much fruit you can eat. That's not part, the limiting yourself is not part of this three day fruit cleanse. I want to also share a couple of tips on how to eat. One thing is to remove distractions so that you really focus and have your, all the senses available, the sense of sight, the sense of smell, the sense of taste. That's gonna help to really appreciate everything that's available here. I always start my dinner or any meal with giving thanks. Giving thanks to God for this food and giving thanks to all the people that it took to prepare it, to finally get it to this point where I am now able to nourish myself. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and we'll be back to you with some final tips for your three-day fruit cleanse. Bottom line, use this opportunity to enjoy it. Embrace it. Learn from it. And cleanse it. Nick and I are here to support you via the Ageless Facebook page in any way that you need. Also, we have a group Facebook page entitled The Three-Day Fruit Cleanse. That'll help you as well. Last thing but not least, do not hesitate to email us directly at my name, Javier, at valueproductions.com for any more info or support you need. And upon successful completion of the three day fruit cleanse, we'll send you a request for a testimonial or to share your experience. In return, we're gonna send you one of the Ageless Bandanas free of charge. The Ages program offers workshops and classes and retreats and music and so much more to help you lead and live a healthier and happier lifestyle. Check us out. Our mission is to help people get healthy and that you've given us the opportunity to share our mission. We thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste.